Mutton and uh, do a design. Yeah, already seeing seeing some very interesting characters here. Uh, this is actually a very good set to start off with because we have, of course, we have Greninja. Everybody knows Greninja. Then we also have uh, Cyrus, who is a character I don't know a whole lot about. Uh, so Cyrus is kind of play similar to. Well, okay. <laughs> we can we can talk about Cyrus later. Uh, that triple fair. <laughs> Uh, Scarrows kind of play similarly to Peach, uh, focusing on a lot of jump cancels and float cancels with their characters. Very explosive character once they get their blenders uh, rolling. Yeah. I mean, we're already seeing both these characters are super explosive. I mean, Greninja already, already up a stock. Uh, mm -hmm. But Mutton is making it back. The lead is, uh, is not widening here. I wouldn't say that, like, you know, Mutton should be worried about the percentage uh, difference so far, just because, like, once they get a combo going, it could easily lead into a single stock. Yeah, that's very true. Like, I mean, I definitely- I've seen that neutral special before. Oh, wow. Oh, there you go. The Downstrong? The, the Downstrong yeah. is crazy, too. I mean, I definitely know that, that neutral special, the weird, like, spinny move, mm -hmm. uh, hits a lot harder than it looks. Surprisingly but, so. Aren't, oh, and the up strong. <laughs> into up strong. Something, uh, something funny I always see brought up is Greninja players are like, oh, Greninja can't kill. And then that happens. It really depends on the character, especially uh, now these two are playing very light characters, uh, which means their kill percentage are super low, run like the 80% or the 90% even. Oh, absolutely. So, anything can happen. Yeah. Oh, we see the, the disc teleport. Very fun mechanic to see. Which means, like, you know, especially with Mutton using it very wisely, even baiting out the parry there. Yeah, just really controlling the, the ground here. Uh, not having, letting Greninja back. Having space in the middle now. Keeping control very well. Oh, interrupting with the disc, but not being able to follow up with it. I think they're, because of high percent here. Yeah, they're even falling off with the SDI. Yeah, wow, like this is... Oh, there you go. Finally with the convert with the fair. I'd love to see it. Yeah, it's a, it's super interesting. Because like, I think something that's always fun with Workshop is you see characters like this. And like, obviously people take inspiration from other characters, but it's like you have a peach and... Ah. Oh, <laughs> never mind, I don't get to talk about Cyrus anymore. Greninja just goes crazy. Yeah, uh, that's the crazy thing about Workshop is that, you know, some characters will take and yeah. um, inspiration from each other, but Greninja here will just do <laughs> fairs, charging them up. Yeah, getting the shuriken, and that shuriken is... Oh, it doesn't even need it. Oh, miss, didn't miss even need eye. it. That was just the, the triple fair. Mm -hmm. As we're going back here. Uh, oh, oh the spike there again. Mm -hmm. And then we saw this uh, upstrong setup. Mm, you can see Which, like the shurikens there, very well used by Duo Design. Yeah, and the the up strong off the top. That up strong is brutally strong. Mm -hmm. See here it is again. Yep. Oh, zooming in, <laughs> up close, and, and personal. Yeah, look, <laughs> that sweet spot does not mess around. It is <laughs> like Greninja doesn't have amazing kill power outside of that, but that is definitely one of the most devastating tools. And the the pop up into the fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So we can see here that, you know, these players like to uh, get up close and personal. <laughs> uh, you're surely. Um, and being light and coming back to your point about Workshop taking inspiration to each other, um, it's, it's great to see unique character ideas and then you just see Greninja from Smash, you know? Yeah, it's, it. <laughs> it's such a fun, like, variety thing mm -hmm. that we have a, such a variety of both familiar play styles and just these really crazy ones. Yeah. And well, with these like rival, uh, rivals design characters, you can see like they have the flame there that gives them an extra hop, which can give them an extra recovery mix up or even have the disc that they can teleport to. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's probably one of my favorite things about rivals is the, the unique mechanics and how they're fleshed out with crazy stage control stuff. Greninja actually has been expanded to have something, but I'm not sure if we're going to see it. I don't mm. see a lot of Greninja players use it, but it's really awesome when you do. I haven't seen like the substitute at all yet by Duo Design, but I don't think they need it so far getting uh, 
a lot of crazy combos without it. Yeah, like they already they're already doing really good at setting up just without it, which and not that's like, very helpful. You don't really see it often where um, they have. Oh my oh. god. Even oh, misses the <laughs> misses the sweet spot, but very Again. close. Oh, and baits out the down strong. What I'm not seeing here a lot is that. Uh, oh my god, that's off the, hair off the top. Uh, Duo Design is not using much of the charge shuriken, and like they like using the small ones just to poke at uh, mud in here, which I think is throwing them off very much. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah. It's definitely very interesting. Uh, I wonder... I don't actually know who Duo plays in base cast, but I wonder if they play Rano, because that's a very, like, Rano player thing to do. It's just bait with the weak projectile. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Like, it, it can throw off your opponent's timing so much. Because you, you're just used to just seeing your Rano players just charging across the stage and then, you know, not expecting them to just throw it immediately. Yeah, exactly. It's like having that having that shuriken just come out. It's not really a waste from Greninja. It just stops the momentum. But speaking of stop momentum, we're seeing some crazy momentum stop from Mr. Mutton. But finally, Greninja does get back in. Oh, oh nice float. <laughs> Stall there, floating right there, but not getting much out of it. Back at disadvantage. Not letting off that mid-stage control, very well done by Duo Design. But yeah, Mutton mixing up the recovery super well. This is very, very edge of the seat. I don't like... Oh, oh my god. They hit the forward strong. I was about to say, at, at this percent, it's really just a matter of who lands the next hit. But we do see it, and uh, Duo Design not letting Mutton get that that next hit. Mm -hmm. Seems like it's just... A pixel away from hitting them, but Duo Design is oh, doing a great punish, job. But misses the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ooh. fair. Fairly killing. Poking him off stage uh, takes advantage of that shadow sneak for recovery. Uh oh. Okay. Being the yeah. first one to get out of that jab. Fair off stage. Very important stock for Mother right now. Despite how linear it looks, Greninja's uh, Shadow Sneak is actually really crazy in this game because he can actually mix it up into a bunch of different follow-ups, which makes it very scary if you don't know which one he's going for. And especially when you don't have shield, like in Smash. Oh, the back is <laughs> finally getting the kill. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's very hard to, to keep Greninja out. Right. But... Fully charged. 153. You gotta watch out for that. Misses the oh. misses the water shuriken. That could have been something really nasty. Oh no! No double jump. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Gets oh back on God. with the desk. Baits out the baits out the up strong. Down air. Great combo starter. Missing the flow cancel. Got the fair chain. Oh, into the into the roll move. I think Mr. That's Mutton a... is just like super nervous. They're not committing to anything right now. I mean, I would be and oh, strong. into the sweet spot. <laughs> and there we I'm... go. Do it this time, taking winners' quarters and yeah. putting Mutton into losers. Yeah, and that was 2 0, which is, I mean, already off to a commanding lead here. Like, these are, these are some really crazy players, and you're just. There's so much going on, it's... <laughs> yeah. You can even see, like, a lot of Mudden's movement didn't feel like they were confident enough in some of their moves there, missing, like, the down strong. Like, those small mental stacks matter so much in these tournaments. Yeah, it's, it's very much, especially with this matchup, too, it's a matter of precision. Both of these characters cannot afford to make too many mistakes against each other. Mm -hmm. And it's just... Just wearing them down, little little bit by bit it's very hard to get back after all of those uh just little even things. missing like a wave dash or a wave land it's so much it adds so much to you yeah absolutely yeah. and seeing out here off stage you know up strong being so offensive yeah. just wanting to get back <laughs> yeah, this, out of the water the sweet spot up strong just always always works it just does except when it doesn't but most of the time it does 